<laughs> Hi, I'm Casey. Hi, I'm Marisol. And this is our daughter, Catalea. <laughs> oh, dear. So I go to Redeem City Church because I feel like for the longest time in my faith I've been stagnant and sitting in one spot and I was ready to, to do something new and, and grow in my faith and I feel that I've been able to do that since attending this church and becoming a part of this church body. Yeah and then also just the people that we've met through this church, um, Pastor Preston, Pastor Becky from the very beginning, as well as everybody in the congregation have been very welcoming to Marisol and I and our family. And it just feels like a new home in which we've been accepted into a family. I decided to choose Redeem City Church because it was the only church that I've encountered that actually uh, he to the presence of God. Um, it's been so powerful to feel, to, to have authentic encounters, which is what I've been seeking for like ever. <laughs> so it's been so great to finally have found that and found a place um, that's not only comforting, but being around people who genuinely love and care and want to be a part of our lives just as much as we want to be a part of theirs. I feel like I've been able to deepen my faith um, just through studying the Word of God. I find that I'm spending a lot more time reading the Bible as well as spending time in prayer and just learning about spending time in prayer and in the Holy Spirit has been something new to me and I've, I've gained a lot in that so far. There's so much that's happened since coming and be, being a part of Redeemed City Church. Um, the, the biggest thing of the many that's happened was that we got married. Since coming to, to Redeemed City and, and being a part and really applying ourselves to um, what Pastor Preston was teaching and sharing, we didn't want to wait anymore. We wanted to just glorify Him with our lives and turn from the way that we were living. We are building a family together and we believe that if the foundation is not Him, it's not going to work. Yeah. So we just felt that we needed to make that decision and and follow our hearts because our hearts were being pulled in that direction and just after that Wednesday night corporate prayer service we made the decision to do it haven't looked back since so with the Sunday night service and the Wednesday night corporate prayer that they hold um, I just had a lot of practice with, with praying as a group and then praying within our home too. It's taught us so much about praying together and praying in agreement with one another. Since two services on Sunday and uh, being a part of corporate prayer, um, Pastor Preston really uh, equips us with tools. He not only equips us with it, but he teaches us how to use it so that we can use it on the day-to-day -day, um, when we come up against something and we know we can't do it by ourselves. So the only way is to use the tools that Pastor Preston is equipping us with. And it's really nice to um, practice together as a congregation. And just like Casey was saying, taking it home and doing it too. Um, since attending Sunday service and corporate prayer, we also started taking communion at home together. And that, that's so special. It's such a special time. So it's such a special moment in our day to take communion and to reflect back on really what Jesus has done 
for us individually, for our marriage, for our family, um, and remembering and to thank him. Um, those are really special moments in our days, and it's so cute. Our daughter leads communion with us, too, which we found so, so precious. It's just so beautiful. Our lives have completely done a, a 180, so to speak, since coming and being a part and uh, applying. That's, that's a key thing, applying what we're learning and what we're hearing. Okay. Nothing to add to that. Something really important that's also um, impact us well coming is our, our sessions that we've been having with both Pastor Becky and pa Pastor Preston for our marriage counseling. Um, but also I've been having individual uh, moments with Pastor Becky, just her and I, and it's really great to have someone who really has their hands in my life and that's helping me, that's guiding me. I've been in church for eight plus years. Um, and I don't know what's different. Well, it's Jesus. It's his presence, his real presence in my life. Um, and she's helping guide me and, and walk with me, answer questions that I have, s things that might need clarification, um, sharing scriptures with me to pray and to speak over my life, over my husband, our family, and helping me really know the heart. That's the big thing, is knowing the heart, the heart of Jesus. It's been so special. My private times with her, learning how to pray, how to walk in his authority. It's been so powerful. Um, in regards to marriage counseling. Yeah, with marriage counseling, I'd speak to the guidance that I've received and both of us have received through that. Um, it gives us the, the knowledge and the tools to move in the right direction and take the right steps um, and able to, to center our, our marriage on God the way that it's supposed to be so that we have a, a successful marriage and... A godly marriage. Yes. Without marriage. God, they're following His plan. Marriage just doesn't work. It's not healthy happy or loving and mm -hmm. we know that by applying him into our marriage every year is going to be better and better it's only going to get better and better yes if you guys feel like you don't have a church home yet or if you're like me and just aren't having any luck getting um, further with your faith we invite you to, to please come to Redeem City Church and see for yourself. We'd love to have you here. Love to have you here. <laughs>